let's say that we have a thin film of refractive index mu thickness d and in a medium let's say that this medium at present is let's say air okay now before we start this concept i would like to prove forward some basic concepts we ha which we have already discussed we had discussed that when light moves from rarer to denser medium then there is a phase change of pi when light moves from denser to rarer medium there is no phase change the phase change is 0 degree so we had said that if we have a mirror we saw that this side was a denser medium than this side so there was a phase change of pi similarly if we have let's say water and air and there is reflection occurring first then this was a denser medium so there is a phase change of pi on the other hand if the light waves move from water to air and if there is a reflection occurring here at the surface then since the reflection is from a surface which was like this is denser this is rarer so there is no phase change of pi the other concept which we had learned that if the refractive index if the sorry if the wavelength of light in a in vacuum is lambda then the wavelength of light in a particular medium lambda n is given by lambda by n these are the three things these are the two things which we need to keep in mind when we study this concept now what happens here let's draw an enlarged view here this is my thin film of thickness d refractive index mu so what happens light waves come and strike here there is a reflection occurring and there is a refraction occurring there is some reflection occurring here again and finally when the light waves emerge out the light waves emerge out parallelly so this is my one first wave this is my second one wave so we, we see that we have two light waves and these two light waves serve as two sources for interference this is my first source this is this is coming from my second source so now let's study what is the condition since we have two sources we will have an interference pattern so now let's study what are the conditions for constructive and destructive interference you know that this is my basic formula del phi 2 pi by lambda del x plus del phi source is equal to my total phase difference so first let's see what is the phase difference between the sources this is my first source the first source undergoes a phase change of pi because the light wave was moving from rarer to denser medium and the reflection occurred here so this is my n2 this is my n1 for this reflection so this is a there's a phase change of 180 degrees at this surface however this is my rarer medium this is my denser medium so light wave was moving from denser to rarer medium and there's a reflection so there here there is no phase change so there's there's a phase change of zero so the ultimate phase change between the two sources or the phase source uh, between the phase difference between the two sources is pi so del phi source is equal to pi fine okay now you know that as we had studied in case case of lloyd mirror lloyd's mirror when we have a phase change of or a phase difference of pi between the sources the condition for constructive interference and destructive interference are reversed so now my construct uh, condition for constructive interference will be that del x should be equal to n plus half lambda and my condition for destructive interference will be delta x is equal to n lambda fine because there is a phase change or there is a phase difference of pi between the two sources so now let's find what is delta x to find delta x let's assume that this angle is theta let's draw a perpendicular from this point till here if this angle is theta this angle is let's say r 
this is 90 minus r so this angle is also r okay this distance is d see what is the path difference delta x delta x is x2 minus x1 what is x2 x2 is this distance plus this distance sorry the path difference is basically provided by how do i how do i get the path difference this x2 covers a distance of this much and this in that time this x1 covers a distance of this much so the de the delay is basically of be because of the difference between this path and this path so my difference in path difference is x2 minus x1 will be because of this difference minus this difference this distance so what is this distance this distance is what this distance is if i take this triangle this is d so my this is d by cos theta so this hypotenuse d by cos theta so this plus this is 2d by cos theta and what is the this distance is 2d by cos theta so what is the time taken by the light wave to travel this distance this is time taken by the light wave is what c by mu so this is the time taken by the light wave to travel this distance and what is the time taken by the light wave to travel this distance this is t2 this angle is this distance is what this distance is d tan theta if i enlarge this triangle this angle is my r so this distance is 2d tan theta so what is this distance to find this distance in terms of theta you know that mu sin theta is equal to 1 sin r by snell's law at this refra refraction point so sin r is mu sin theta and what is sin theta in this case sin theta is what y by 2d tan theta is my sin r so y is what 2d tan theta sin r or mu sin theta so this is my y so and so what is the time taken by this light wave to travel this distance it's 2d tan theta sin theta mu divided by c right 